But when you're not, um, are deep enough in the glass with the straw. Oh, so right, okay. you have to be very deep um, so you get the water. And what about speed? Do you have to get up to a certain pace in order to, to make the jump work? Yeah, that's difficult because you have to be fast enough so you can jump very good and uh, you are high enough. Because when you are too slowly, you, are, you don't get high enough. Wow, but if you go too fast... Yeah, you are too high and you not come into the water. Wow, so that's a, a difficult calculation to make. Yeah. It looks strawfully tricky. Let's check out the rules. They can't use their hands at all during the flip. Spill any water from the container and the attempt is over. The guys have a two-minute limit to complete their attempt and they need to remove a minimum of 50 millilitres from the container to set a new record. Are we ready to see a record broken? Yeah! Of course we are. Guys, off you go. Best of luck. In case you're worried, that is water. 384 millilitres of it, to be precise. But it's been coloured blue to look all pretty on your telly. In three, two, one, go! Tora is up first. Ooh, it's a good start. A good withdrawal of water there, and then it's back to the start to go again. Lassa up next, and oh no! Ooh. Lassa spilled Vasa, and so the attempt is void. But these German gymnasts want another go. One more shot. Can they spin things around? OK, here they go. Best of luck, fellas, in three, two, one, go! Come on, guys, you can do it! Great Ooh, stuff. Loads sucked up there. Luai a bit too fast there. He just couldn't get the angle. Yes, definitely there. Oh, they'll need to get a lot closer than that. Yes! One minute. It's a one minute to go. Remember, the guys only need to remove 50 millilitres of water. That's a swig's worth from a can of pop and a measure of just how difficult this is. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, come on! Oh! Yes! 15 seconds. That's more like it. Well done, Luai. Oh, come on. Oh, so close. Five, four, yes. three, two. It's the last one. Four. Stop. Oh, excellent work, guys. Well, they didn't spill any this time, so official adjudicator Liz is happy. But it's a nervous wait while she measures. Have the boys removed more than the target of 50 millilitres? Liz, let us know. Well, it was a really great attempt, and I can tell you that today you removed... 116 millilitres yeah. is the new Guinness World Record! Look at that! They've got more than double the target! A sensational straw-sucking success that confirms Luai, Tora and Lassa are officially amazing! Officially, officially, officially! This is the incredible looking backflip Alex will be trying to do over a huge distance later. Woo! But for now, it's all about the headbanger, a move you might have seen on Dancing on Ice. A headbanger is where Alex spins JD round and round by the ankles. It's super dangerous. You've really got to know that you're doing it right. Yes, you've got your if technique. I will make something like go. this, yeah. he will fly. <laughs> never, never, no, 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 we don't think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, I think Alex is just glad that he's not the one being spun around. Right, let's check out the rules. A headbanger is a full 360 degree rotation whilst holding the partner by the ankles. The 30 second timer starts when the partner is airborne and the minimum requirement is eight headbangers for this brand new record. And let's not forget, it's called a headbanger for a reason. JD's head is going to be spinning just above the rock-solid ice and at the other end of his body, the razor-sharp blades on his skates are going to be near Alex's hands and body. This is incredibly dangerous. Remember, they need to complete at least eight headbangers in 30 seconds. That's eight full rotations. Their time starts when JD's airborne. They're off. That's one. Oh, I can barely watch. Alex has to hold JD off the ground and have the momentum going to keep him up in the air whilst he spins. Oof, and JD's being scraped a bit there. Oh, and he's down. Ouch. Alex having to watch his hands don't catch on the sharp blades. 
He only achieved five. Just five on that attempt. He needs more grip, so the boys are taping Alex's hands together. Bon chance, guys. Thanks. On Dancing on Ice, it's usually the ladies that are swung round, but JD is a 65 kilogram man. That's a lot of weight for Alex to hold. Fingers crossed the tape helps them get eight headbangers or more this time. Leg in, here we go, come on, guys. He is so close to that ice. Oh, and they're off. JD's life is literally in Alex's hands, all the blood rushing to his head. Oh, no, another attempt over. Thank goodness JD wasn't hurt. The first two headbangers seemed OK, but Alex couldn't keep JD off the ground for the third rotation. The tape came off Alex's hands and he just couldn't hold on. So even with their plan B of tape and a rolled up trouser leg, they failed again. Are you happy to continue? Do you feel like you can do this or how's it looking? Mm. I'm not sure that uh, this time I can to make this record. Really, I'm so sorry. Absolutely gutted. The headbangers record just wasn't to be this time. I feel so sorry for them. Officially, officially, officially. Most peas moved with a straw? What is this? This is rubbish, guys! <sighs> Pathetic. Yep, not exactly the challenge I'd hoped for. But the good news is, if you have these items, you can play along at home. You just move the dry pea from the plate to any container you like, as long as there's a hole no more than two centimetres big in the top of it. Simple. And another simple game to play is spotting all my brilliant pea ponds. So get counting and see if you've got them all at the end. Come on, Ben Shire's moving peas. Easy peasy. Yeah? Yeah. But I'm not alone. <laughs> yes, it's CBBC challenge time. Feeling good? Nope. To see if they can set a new Guinness World Records title of 27 peas or more moved in 30 seconds. Please judge our peas, please judge. <laughs> And, of course, we couldn't have a record attempt without our competitive legends taking part. They'll have their go soon enough, but it's the turn of me and my pals in Newcastle first. Well, they're certainly eager. Are you ready? I'm ready. So eager, they've forgotten the rules. You're going to have one hand behind your back, actually. Yes, sorry, I yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be touching the straw to start off with. This is hard. And it can't just roll in, it has to be placed in. Oh. In a one, two, a one, two, three, peas! And we're under starters hors d'oeuvres. Who can get 27 peas or more? Nice, slow and steady. That's how it works. Oh, Johnny's missed picking up the pea completely. Well, that sucks. But so does having the pea and missing the target. There's a hole in that if you need it. You know? <laughs> this is nice, it's good, a good rhythm. Oh, go Bobby! If you're trying this at home, rhythm and speed are key. Check out Dumping Grounds Leanne. Very impressive. Casey's looking on, mesmerised. News just in, Aisha's not going to win this race. Really taking the time over every pig. Leaving Ricky very oh, little to report on. <laughs> oh, Radzi's rushing it. Go. He's not placing his peas close enough to the hole, but still... He's not as bad as Naomi. Ten seconds left. How'd that happen? Put your quips weighing you down, cocker. Time's running out. Stop. Oh. How's he done, cocker? He's got 11. Hooray, oh. he didn't do it. Well done. <laughs> All right, let's see you do your worst. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oi! Hey, hey, this is a new shirt. You... <laughs> Great. Think we'll call that zero. <laughs> Daredevil matched my 11. Oh, I've, no, I've no idea how that is in the league table of P redistribution. Well, Daredevil, there were higher scores. 13, 15. Ooh, oh, brilliant. Oh. And lower scores. You got six. <laughs> six. But is this world record to P or not to P? Did anyone get 27 P's or more? No. Oh, it's an epic fail in Newcastle Gateshead. Oh, I'm so ashamed of myself. My mum's going to be so disappointed. That's that's the main thing. I'm not going to be able to look her in the eye. Cheer up, Johnny. Officially, officially, officially. Amazing! Ta-da! Bonjour, 
I'm here in the sun-drenched south of France, Marseille to be exact, waiting for our next record breaker to arrive. It seems he's a bit late, but I've not let that get me down. I found myself on this little dinghy out in the ocean for a bit of R&R &R time. That's rod and reel to you and me. But fishing is merely a distraction to pass the time while I wait for the main event. And it's looming right beneath me as I float. Prepare yourselves for something incredible. Prepare yourselves for flyboarding. Flyboarding fanatic Frankie Zapata actually invented the flyboard and can do just about anything on his jet ski powered machine. Just look at the man's saw! He's actually flying with the power of water, like some sort of aquatic Iron Man. He can spin! He can flip! He can disappear! Where is he? Incredible! <gasps> and more than that... He's gonna break a record on this, too! We hope! Yeah! Wow, and he can even carry idiots on that thing? Don't be too jealous, Al. So, how does a flyboard work? Well, bored of being a jet ski champion, Frankie took his water bike, attached a mahoosive hose to it, and started experimenting. Water is blasted through the pipe to jets fitted on his specially designed board, which Frankie is attached to with some even more specially designed boots. Using this handheld throttle, he controls the water pressure from his jet ski. Higher pressure allows him to soar over 15 metres in the air, while his jet ski sits down below, all alone, all in all, this is an incredibly difficult machine to operate, but Frankie is the best in the world at it. I think it's time to meet Mr. Flyboard himself. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at that! He's still going. I need to drive my feet. That was brilliant. Thanks. So, Frankie, it's great to meet you, first of all, but please tell me, you. is this thing off? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. This, there's no water jets <laughs> no, about no to fly water. out. No, it's fine. Do you feel like a superhero up there? I feel like you're, you're a superhero because you, you can jump in the water as, as a mermaid yeah. and you can also fly as Iron Man. So nothing is like this. No, mm. Nothing gives you the ability to fly. But you were telling me earlier you haven't really done any flyboarding for about four months. Yeah, I didn't practice too much, but it's like bicycle, you never forget. <laughs> 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 